realist paintings usually have a message about society, about, you know, some kind of social attitude. And these things are really kind of not that way. They're very optical. It's realistic because it's all from optical, optical information. But uh, it's not realistic. It doesn't have anything to do with, like, 19th century realistic painting. It all has a message, some kind of social message. Or a lot of 20th century European painting, I guess, all has social messages about existential man and things like that. I don't have anything like that. And then, then, you know? Well, it isn't like there's a, there's a social message, but there's a lot of social information, you know? Because you know, well, I mean, the suit is specific. I mean, a man has a $500 suit on, I want, it looks like a $500 suit. This is Art New York, tape number 26. On this tape, we'll look at the work of two realists who base their paintings on optical observation. First, we'll go to the Whitney Museum of American Art and see a large retrospective by Alex Katz. Then we'll see a show of painted sketches by Katz at the Robert Miller Gallery. After this, we'll look at a show of recent paintings by Janet Fish, also at the Robert Miller Gallery. Included on this tape are interviews with Alex Katz. It's, I guess it's very uh, almost like uh, some fancy, fancy social camera in a way. And Janet Fish. I don't find painting a face or a tomato or a sheet any different. I, I think each thing is equal. It's, it's the same way. It's, it's been um, built out of, out of marks and out of color is the way I'm doing that. And so uh, uh, it's just a putting down of one color next to another. And, and, and also the way the mark goes has something to say about the form. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to just just paint around and around and around the tomato because it would look uh, dead that way. So it has to be something, sometimes something goes this way, sometimes it goes that way. And it has to do with the feeling of the form. So some objects, in a sense you're talking about feeling, well, in the sense of, and the, uh, those Japanese things saying that, you know, the, you know, in the ink drawing they talked about feel, uh, the feeling of the grass and a certain kind of wind. Well, that is part of seeing these things, is having a sense of the way this thing particularly feels in this particular place.